You guys remember a while ago, I had a video about toughening device, the uh, network tester. In here is the new device. Now, to be fair, this is the better version of that device. It's the M3. This one does 10 gig fiber and Wi-Fi. And in the box, I'm going to show you all the things they sent you. And then I'm going to do a big video series on all the things that this can do because I have this for a while to test and do all that stuff. So today and after that, I'm going to leave you guys to leave me some comments of things you want me to show you. But I can tell you right now, this thing does some pretty sweet things. So let's jump into that. So we have a hard case that it comes with and all of these devices come with a hard case. Inside we have some shielded cables for when I want to do some RJ45 10 gig testing, which is what this is for. A quick pamphlet and some other paperwork. And inside the box, ooh, look at that. We have two remotes, one and four, so we can use these for testing cables. Um, this device does that. So we have two modules. We have our power adapter that charges this in about 45 minutes to an hour. All the in kits include all these fancy zones or uh, country plugs that we can go on here. And they just switch out by pulling the tab down and sliding them forward. I think. Yeah. Okay. They just slide off like that. We have our strap for this case. I reached out to them and said, can I buy the rubber um, piece that goes around this device and it's on the way. Also, they sent me with this device. We have our, oh, I broke it. Okay, well the bag's broken now, so let's open it. The fiber piece for checking fiber cables. That goes in the top, I'll show you where that goes. We have a little pamphlet of the for the Link Expert M3. Yeah. A big pamphlet. I'm not going to open it up because it's kind of hard to see in the uh, video, but I'll show you some stuff in the um, next video here. In here, we have a awesome little dongle. This is the Wi-Fi dongle that goes in the side of this. Now, the good thing about this is that if this dies, it's not built in, so you don't have to get a new machine. You could just pull it out and get a new one under warranty if it's in within warranty, or if you um, if it's out of warranty, you can just buy a new version. And they're not that expensive. I'll put prices in here later. That is a very good feature because you don't want that stuff built into this because you can't get the RF on the outside. And of course, we have my fingerprint driven device right here. So on this device, we have ports and I'll show you that. The touch screen itself on the side, we have power, 12 volts, USB. On the top, we have a RJ45, which is one gig and 10 gig right there. We have a SFP um, cage that is not locked. Many, many, um, Transceivers work in here just fine. I've tried many and they work great. We have our little LED light. So if we click that, it turns on and off. So if we're in a dark room, sometimes we can turn that on. And underneath here, we have a laser light that we can check fiber cables with. And yes, I will be covering that in this video or not this video, but in the series of videos. Put that back on there because we don't want to get dust. This little module right here plugs into here just so you, I'll show you here. And we just go like this, pull our cover off and it just slides in there like that. And then we can click our SFP or LC fiber cable on the top of that. Sorry for the horrible quality here. Okay, put that back in, put our rubber cover over there so we don't get any dirt in there. Do the same here. Okay, 
There's the device. It's got a very nice bright screen. And when we turn it on, I'll show you a couple little things in here. And uh, yeah, it's um, I like I like the feel of it. It's not heavy, and it's got a very responsive touchscreen on this. I went over that last time, so I'm going to put this dongle away, and I'll show you this booting up. It might be a little bit hard to show you this screen, so I put it on a cardboard box. And I'm going to raise it up. It's really hard to do because a camera will want to focus on this in a in a well lit room, but the screen will always change colors and stuff. So I'm going to try my best to show you guys this. So let's try that. Okay, so here's our device. This is what we get to a, I've been playing around with it, but I'm going to factory reset it. Um, this is what we get when we turn it on. So we can run the tool sets if we have them here. Just a quick showdown for you guys. We have copper, which is 10 gig and one gig and 10 100. We have fiber optic, which is right here. And then we have Wi-Fi. The other version that I had, the non-M3 version, the TP, only had copper. It didn't have fiber optic or Wi-Fi. Okay, those two versions don't have that. And I believe in copper, we can go to, oh, we can go back to here, settings, network, link speed. And you can see right here, we have auto, 1000, so one gig. We have 100, 10 megabit, and 10 gig. We can click the little show all possible speeds if we really wanted to. I'm not gonna dive too far in there because I just wanna show you guys that the device is here and I have the capability to do, do a lot of tests with this and I'm gonna show you guys all those tests and show you different little things that are really unique to this device. So watch the video, like and subscribe, and hopefully my shirt wasn't binding you because it is a very, very bright shirt. And if you have anything you want me to try in the series of videos, you can send me an email. It's down below. And, or comment, and I'll try those for you guys. So, I'm going to leave it at that, and I'll see you guys soon. See ya.